Well, Panama City's Naval Surface Warfare Center hosted Yama Shua today, also known as Holocaust Remembrance Day. Their message today was to never forget the atrocities of the past, but to also use it as a way to stop acts of intolerance. News Channel 7's Taylor Marie has more insight on the ceremony. April 18th, a day to remember the six million lives murdered in the Holocaust. Panama City's Naval Surface Warfare Center hosted Yom HaShoah today. Yom HaShoah is a chance to remember uh, many of the atrocities and the missteps of the past. Guest speakers from the Bay County Jewish community spoke to the crowd. The uh, Jewish community here in Panama City stepped up and they have a really great uh, intact community and, the, and the people work on the base here. Um, stepped up and made this really made this possible. One speaker, Dr. Ethan Evans, talked about what he saw when he visited concentration camps in Europe. Absolutely jarring to see piles of ash the size of this room, to see um, fingernail marks on the walls of people asphyxiating, uh, being gassed to death. He says it's hard to imagine what six million people had to endure. But these are people that, that had their own lives, that had worlds, that, that had ambitions and goals and dreams, um, and, and their lives were systematically um, murdered. They but through kindness and vigilance, there's hope in keeping genocides from happening again. We must be uh, vigilant, uh, and we must call out intolerance as soon as we see it. And that takes a certain amount of courage. April 18th not only remembers the victims, but also honors military veterans. Obviously, we want to remember the Holocaust. We want to remember all the significance of the people uh, who suffered, uh, Jews and others, uh, during World War II. But we also want to remember the heroes and the people who uh, stepped up and, and brought an end to World War II and brought an end to the Holocaust. In Panama City Beach, Taylor Marie, News Channel 7. The holiday is commemorated every year, seven days after Passover. Bay County's Jewish community is very close-knit and has two synagogues in the county. The ceremony was concluded after a prayer in Hebrew, then recited in English.